Naturally, the next step in improving interaction was to move objects using the haptic device. There are two buttons on the stylus. I used them as selection and motion tools. The objects can be translated, rotated, or both at the same time, with the current mode being displayed at the top left corner of the screen. The workspace is controlled by turning and moving the marker around in one hand. In the meantime, the second hand can move models using the haptic device. Moving an object in a common 3D environment using a keyboard mouse usually requires at least two steps, moving the workspace and then moving the shape. This kind of interaction is greatly optimized here thanks to a natural 3D mapping between the virtual and the real environments and the ability to simultaneously manipulate workspace and objects. The first button is used to select or deselect a particular object in contact with a proxy or all of the objects if there is no contact. Likewise, the second button is used to move the shape in contact or to change the current motion mode. 